All right, 621, we all know that feeling when you're, you know, when your phone is going off and you don't recognize the call. It's in the early morning hours. Uh, and you know what the digits are. Yeah, of course. And sometimes you just don't. Sometimes you think you know who yeah. it is, but, you know, you really don't. So they're annoying, of course, intrusive. But instead of just ignoring the number, is there a better way of dealing with this? Tech expert Shelly Palmer is back here to save us. Well, first of all, I do want to actually bring to everyone's attention, there is a new robocalling scam out that is probably the nastiest one I've seen in a long time. Okay. The robocaller tells you it's the Social Security Administration calling. Yes. And I've, I've heard about this one. And yeah. I've re mm -hmm. I received this call twice over the weekend uh, oh. while prepping for this particular <laughs> segment. I had a phone just minding its own business, waiting for robocalls just to see. My own call phone does not get robocalls, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay. If the Social Security Administration calls you, just hang up. They're not calling they're you. Not going to they're call not calling you. They're not. You don't owe the money, and you're not going to jail. No matter what anyone tells you, the government doesn't. I've gotten that phone call. The government too. doesn't do that. So that's a, that's a big scam. Yeah. That huge scam. Okay. There are uh, robo calling apps you can get from the phone carriers. Okay. I'm going to say this and make everybody sad. They are a total waste of money. I was okay. going to say, because you have to opt in or opt out, right? Well, it's worse than that. Oh, no, no, it's not that. It's literally call, Verizon's call filter is yeah, 3 yeah. bucks a month. AT&T's uh, call protect is three ninety nine a month. Mm. T-Mobile actually has scam ID. It's free, but it doesn't do much for you. And Sprint doesn't have a free option. They charge you $2.99 a month. And then you can go to these other third-party apps like Nomo Robo mm -hmm. uh, for 2 bucks a month. The Robo Killer, they're all moderately good, but they won't solve your problem. But okay, tell so what will? <laughs> Here's what you do. You have two things on your phone, on your smartphone, that will help you. One is the do not disturb function. Now, when you put on do not disturb, it's mostly about driving. You usually think about that or going to bed at night because you can set it from like, you know, don't sure. disturb me from 11 to 7. You can set up a group of calls you want to get calls from, friends and family that, you, that always call you that you really want to take a call from. And that group will always ring through. And anyone during that mode who calls two times in a row within 15 minutes will get through. So, okay. you can leave your phone in Do Not Disturb all day long, and you won't miss a call if you've set up your call group of the people oh, that you're most wow. likely to get a call from. And anyone who really needs you in an emergency, like, you know, a number that wouldn't call you every day, if they call back within a few minutes, they will get through. Oh. Robocalls don't call you back. They just go on to the next dial. But that kind of sounds time-consuming, <clears throat> right, to me, especially if you have a lot of contacts in your phone. It will take you under five minutes. You can have it, yeah, all you your contacts or just a group. Yeah. It's the same. If you yeah, have a group of, by group. the way, I, don't, I wouldn't do all all of my contacts, no, especially overnight. <laughs> just your favorites. All, all your, no, all your emergency numbers that you need you need to get through when overnight hours and stuff like that. Listen, I also know that August first, there's it's a big deadline, right? Mm -hmm. These anti-spoofing rules are going to go into effect. Tell me about that. What does it mean, and are they protecting us on the federal level? So because they're the ones that can. The FTC has a do not, a federal do not call registry. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. You're on it. I honestly think it does nothing. Okay. Uh, I've called that number and I. I've added my phone number to that, like, well, maybe they didn't get it. Well, maybe they didn't get it. I don't think, to be fair, you can stop a robocall either by passing a law and or buying a filter from an outside party. And the reason I don't believe so is the way that these dialers work is there's a three digit area code, there's a three digit exchange, and then there are four digits from 0000 to 9999. The automatic dialers just dial them. They just start at zero, all zeros and they go right, all the way to on. all nines and they just keep dialing. So, <clears throat> and as soon as they get caught, they just switch the number from which they, they dial from. Okay. The other thing is, it's easy to spoof a number, to spoof your caller ID so that it thinks it's, in, like you still might get a call yeah. when they hit a number from a friend of yours that's on your whitelist, which is why you keep your whitelist nice and small. Uh, it will really limit the number. You can't ever get totally rid of it, but you can get rid of it. So do not disturb so is the main way to do so it. So you're saying no to those anti uh, anti. Uh, I just don't think you spend the money. Out. Don't spend the money on your carrier because it's not worth it. Hmm. You're going to do your better. List. If it's really right. bothering you, and it really bothers me, just go into DND. By the way, anyone who really knows you will text you. True. This is true. <laughs> All right. Good advice. Thank you, Shelley. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. Top stories. We come back on Good Day.